Hello friends, this is Dr. Antoine Nyungeko, your coaching data analysis using R2. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can perform correlation analysis for categorical data. Remember friends, in the previous video, I showed you how you can perform correlation analysis on interval data. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can perform correlation analysis when you have categorical data. And as you can see here, we want to analyze if there is relationship between uh, two categorical data. For instance, here we will want to analyze if there is a relationship between COVID-19 and gender. Another time we want to analyze if there is correlation between being men or women and having COVID-19. Now here, friends, we are going to create a face the, the tables that for that friends we have conducted our survey and at the end we have collected our that our data and we have two columns where you indicate your gender and another column for indicating whether you had or we have COVID-19. 19 and we want to see if there is a relationship between being men or female and having COVID-19. Okay, friends, now we are going to create this this that our data. Normally, if you import your data in R, the function table can allow can allow you to generate a table, but here we are going to show you another way of creating your data set. Here, friends, this comment. Now you see normally when you use a table in, in R, it can, you can have also table like this. That this means female, no COVID-19. We have 80, has COVID-19, 48. Uh, male for male, no COVID-19, 37. And has COVID-19, men are for 44. And we want to see whether there is a relationship between being a female or a male and having or not having COVID-19. Okay, friends, let's make a plot here. We are going to just visualize. This is the comment for visualization. Look, friends. This is the visualization. This is for female and this is for female and this is for men here this is for men as you see here friends in our table here let's visualize this okay now you can see uh, the figure here okay friends now as you can see here in the table what you can see is that we have two laws and two columns we have two laws and we have two these like this friends we have two laws and two columns the first column we can test whether there is independence to test the independence you can use k square test we, we we just need to see if there is independence of being female or uh, being female or male and having COVID-19. This is the independence test here. And this will learn the results. Now, as you can see here, friends, for independence test, the new hypothesis is that the independence. But if the pivot is less than 5%, we reject the null hypothesis of independence. That means there is a relationship between our categorical variable. And according to the, res the, the, the result here, based on the square of the test, we see here, if you have can such kind of data, you will see here there is a relationship. But based on is square of the test does not indicate to which extent there is a relationship between gender and having COVID-19 in our case. Or k square the test does not indicate to which extent there is a relationship between our categorical or nominal variables. That's why we may want to, to count, quantify such a relation if there is a strong relation weaker relationship or moderate relationship that's why we have to perform a, 
correction and arises to confirm whether the, there is strong or moderate or no uh, or yeah um, strong or moderate relationship between our categorical variable we can also compare uh, proportion uh, proportions we can see whether proportion of female and the men that ha have covid 19 are equal and as you can see here friends the no hypothesis of equality of proportion is rejected you can you can see here uh, two proportions are different this is the proportion for female are this 0.62 and the proportion of men having covid 19 is 0.45 okay friends now let let's conduct our um, correlation arises when we have a table of two by two two column and two two laws and two column this is contingency contingency table we use to calculate to calculate correlation arises we use this comment to run this comment you must have this package this package if you don't have the, this package you cannot use this test now we are, we are going to calculate correlation between having COVID-19 and gender based on our data. Now, look friends, this is the results. Now, as you can see, to interpret, as you can see here, the, 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 the relationship is not uh, strong, but is, uh, there is a weak relationship between having COVID-19 and being men or female. Now, this this test is used only if you have two rows and two columns but what kind of test you can use if you have more than two rows and two columns that's why i'm going to show you another test you can use if you have you have a table or contingency table with more than two by two more than two rows and more than two columns this is in the next example we are calculating correlation between categorical data now we let's suppose that friends we have analyzed satisfaction and we have we are we are going to see whether there is relationship between gender and satisfaction suppose that we have this kind of let's learn this comment and you will see how is the contingency table let's clean all and you will see clearly, clearly now suppose that uh, friends that so let's first show you clearly the, this how is the table i will use again now suppose that we have such a situation friends we conducted our survey to analyze the satisfaction in working environment and we have that female who are satisfied are this number female who are not satisfied are this number female who, who neither satisfied nor dis dissatisfied are this number for men also we have satisfied men are this number um, uh, not satisfied men are this number and the men who are neither satisfied nor dis 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 dissatisfied is this number and we want to see if there is any relationship between being men or female and being satisfied or not satisfied this is the, the kind of question for analyzing relationship between satisfaction and agenda now let's make a plot you can see uh, when i i make a plot of this now you can see now satisfied here we have female and here we have men not satisfied and not uh, satisfied or dissatisfied we have here female we have a man here female here men here and uh, what we have to do we can just perform independent tests to see whether there is a relationship or not using independent test using cast square the test this this test look friends here uh, in independence test the new hypothesis is that there is independence between 
there is no relationship there is no relationship or there is independence or in there is independence between female and satisfaction there is no otherwise they are in other terms there is no relationship between the gender and the satisfaction but this general hypothesis is rejected because the p-value is less than five percent now let's let's see if for instance they were independence if they were independence what is what is the number would have this is expected value if they were independence you see the values but what is observed look friends this is expected here and you co you compare this value and this this one this one and this one this one and this one this is what we have and this is what we would have this is what is expected and this is the current situation this also compare with this also and this value we observe the value this one but we would have this value and this value you compare this value if they were independence now friends you see the cast squared test rejected the independent the hypothesis of independence but we wanted to quantify to which extent there is such kind of relationship whether the relationship is strong moderate weak and so on now whenever you you have more than two rows and two columns table we can use clamer correlation the clamer the correlation now to perform this test friends you have to learn to, to install this package this one if you don't know how to install package you come here friends here in packages you click here packages here friends and you click on install here like this friends you have to wait and then you like you write the name of package you want to install and then you click on install but you must have a connection i'm showing you how can you can install whenever i don't you do not have a package required to uh, to execute a command you have to install it and i'm showing you how you can install a, a package you need when you, you don't have it, such a package most of the time you can see in r for instance when you execute a command they say that you have a reply that or a um, miss error message indicating that the package is not found and you have to install it and now i'm showing you how you can install your package you need for your test now here friends if we don't we don't have a such comment we will do we will do have installed it like this you do like this and you you click here on install but i have already this comment i do not need to install again and in, now friends as we have this, uh, this comment we can just learn to to perform the correlation between satisfaction and gen it is this comment this this command here allows me uh, to reduce number after the comma this this round with this one i want two two values after comma like this friends sorry i didn't execute this comment now now you see here friends this is the correlation coefficient as you can as you can see here friends the relation between the gender and the satisfaction in our example is weak is negligible okay friends now i, I think we, by using these tutorials you can be able to perform your data analysis you just need to follow our tutorials and i think you i will help you slow step by step to learn how you can use r to perform your data analysis okay friends thank you for watching our video i invite you to subscribe to my channel if you found this video helpful you can share with your friends so as to let others learn data analysis using r Thank you for your attention for next video. Bye.